This is the greatest sin of a narcissist that can never be forgiven by God until they die. Are you or someone you know trapped in the clutches of a narcissist? It's a cruel, soul-crushing experience that can leave even the strongest person questioning their worth and sanity. Let's delve into the dark world of narcissism and examine the great sin that narcissists commit, one that can't be forgiven until they meet their end. Narcissism is a personality disorder marked by an inability to empathize with others and a constant craving for admiration. When locked in a relationship with a narcissist, the damage it inflicts on the other party can be immense. Narcissists are capable of causing deep emotional harm to their victims, leaving them in a state of shock, hurt, and unable to live fulfilling lives. It can take years for a victim to heal and overcome the devastating impact of being entwined with a narcissist. It's important to know that relationships with narcissists are tragically unequal. Narcissists are notorious for refusing to take responsibility for their actions. Instead, they shift the blame onto their victims. They use tactics like gaslighting and manipulation to make their victims doubt their own perception of reality and the events that took place. This only adds to the emotional turmoil experienced by their victims, who are already reeling from the fallout. Once a narcissist is done with a victim, they often discard them without a second thought, acting as if they never existed. The victim, now left to pick up the pieces, may experience a mix of anger and confusion as they try to make sense of the narcissist's behavior. The harsh truth is that most narcissists simply don't care about others. They view them as mere tools to be used for their own gain. This cold-hearted indifference towards fellow human beings is sickening and difficult to fathom. Today, we will uncover the seven deadly sins of narcissists and the twisted ways they try to justify their actions. To remain informed and join the conversation, I encourage you to subscribe. Also, you may be interested in my free course, Narcissism 101, Early Warning Signs, Escaping the Trap, and Rebuilding Your Life. You may find the download link in the description box below. Now, let's begin. First and foremost, narcissists are the epitome of emotional vampires, leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. They prey on your vulnerability, your trustworthiness, and your moral compass, using your qualities against you to further their own agenda. Narcissists get a thrill from being in control, wielding power over others like a weapon. The ability to intimidate, manipulate, and hurt you provides them with immense satisfaction. But at what cost? As you lose yourself in their destructive dance, you may find it harder and harder to process information, distinguish between dreams and reality, or maintain your mental balance. When you start to see things from a narcissist's twisted perspective, your emotions inevitably follow suit, the worst part. Narcissists don't care about the damage they cause, the loss of identity you may experience, or the harm they inflict on others. Their only focus is on themselves and getting what they want, regardless of the consequences. The second gravest sin of a narcissist is the art of manipulation, specifically the dangerous technique of gaslighting. Gaslighting is a method used by a narcissist to distort your perceptions of events, your own emotions, and even your perspective of reality. But why do they do this? It's all about control. Your story becomes their key to getting what they want from you, making you do what they want, and coercing you into agreeing to their terms. The narcissist encircles you with their psychic arms, squeezing you until you accept their warped reality. Bit by bit, they chip away at your perceptions of self, environment, and reality until nothing is left but the version that they have created for you. And their ultimate goal? To manipulate you into backing them up, regardless of whether they deserve credit for something they didn't do or were at fault for something they did. It's not acceptable for anyone to control your life to the point where you start to believe that you are worthless, lose sight of your values, and forget who you are. The third cardinal sin of narcissists is their willful ignorance, the blatant disregard for the feelings and needs of others. Narcissists believe that they are always right when it comes to their desires and wants, and they often neglect kindness, respect, self-awareness, and responsibility. They convince themselves that they can function independently without any need for anyone else's support or care. But you may recall the times when your narcissist partner showed fear of losing you or the relationship and they made a few adjustments to their behavior. 
They may have suddenly become more agreeable and attentive in hopes of keeping you around. Yet why should anyone treat you that way only when it's convenient for them, while disregarding your need for respect, understanding, compassion, presence, intention, love, and care? Be mindful of the times when your narcissist partner deliberately denied your needs, trampled over your requests, and was insensitive to your feelings. The fourth cardinal sin of narcissists is their willingness to damage your reputation when they can't exert direct control over you. They'll resort to spreading falsehoods about you and persist in doing so even after they realize their lies are untrue. But who's the mastermind behind this heinous tactic? It's born out of their base animosity and the desire to exert any form of control possible over you. They don't care how much damage they cause to your personal or professional life as long as it helps them win over the majority. It's tough to deal with someone who's prone to anger issues, but it's essential to treat them with respect. Remember that conflict is normal in any relationship, but it's crucial to let go of the past and move forward. However, they chose not to do so and instead recruited individuals who would spread false information about you, damaging your reputation. Their ultimate goal was to exile you, increase their own sense of self-worth, and exact revenge out of jealousy, malice, or pure spite. It's not only inappropriate, but it's also a testament to their harsh character. The fifth cardinal sin of narcissists is having affairs with other people while also having an affair with you and trying to hide it. It's an incredibly hurtful situation where the narcissist deliberately chooses to lie and deceive you, all the while planning to make you appear like the one at fault if you find out. It's an act of pure evil, and it's hard to imagine anything worse than that. Betrayal is devastating, and it's especially painful when it's done by someone with narcissistic tendencies. They constantly undermine trust, but they also destroy any good times you had together by embellishing the truth and making it impossible to know what's really happening. Once you're out of the situation and back to reality, it may feel like you were living in an illusion. The truth becomes clear, but the betrayal leaves you with severe shock and pain that lasts a long time. It's common for victims of deception to develop a lifelong inability to trust others, and their trust betrayal never completely heals. The sixth cardinal sin of narcissists is causing physical harm to others. While not all narcissists engage in physical abuse, those who do leave their victims feeling terrified to be in anyone's company. Even years or decades later, a victim may live in constant fear that the offender will return to inflict more harm. The emotional and physical abuse from a narcissist can make their victims feel like they're no longer themselves. They can be triggered by both unstable and secure environments, making it hard to move on from the trauma. Growing up with a narcissist has left many with an extreme aversion to anyone who uses violence against others. When someone resorts to physical violence, it feels like they've lost their humanity. It's scary to think that someone can't control their dark, satanic side and can't stop themselves from expressing their inner rage. Physical abuse is a cardinal sin and it's not something that can be easily overlooked or forgiven. The seventh and last cardinal sin is exploitation. It's a sad reality, but people are often viewed as just disposable resources for narcissists. Their superiority complex and sense of entitlement lead them to see others as expendable, using them only to escape from pursuers or to get necessities. The truth is they don't pursue others out of genuine interest in friendship, love, or humanity. Instead, they are focused on what they can get out of the situation, regardless of who they may harm along the way. By placing their needs before anyone else's, they prove that they only care about themselves and their own survival. People are reduced to mere property in the eyes of a narcissist, all for the sake of material gain, money, or sex. It's a thorny issue that we'll delve deeper into in future episodes. For now, I hope you've enjoyed and learned from our discussion of the seven cardinal sins of narcissists. If you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it in the comments. And if you found this information helpful, please consider sharing it with others who may also benefit from it. Until next time, have a nice day. So everyone, thank you for joining us today where we just talk about the greatest sin of a narcissist that God can never forgive until the day they die.
If you or someone you know has ever been entangled with narcissism, you know the crushing experience of feeling like you are not enough and questioning your sanity. It can be a soul crushing experience that can take years to heal from. Narcissism is a personality disorder that is characterized by an inability to empathize with others and a need for constant admiration. When in a relationship with a narcissist, it's a tragedy that the damage inflicted on the other party can be extensive. Narcissists leave their victims a state of shock, hurt, and unable to live their lives fully, and it can take years for a victim to heal and overcome the devastating impact of being entwined with a narcissist. One of the most critical things to understand in a relationship with a narcissist is the inequality that exists. Narcissists refuse to take responsibility for their actions and instead place the blame on their victims using tactics like gaslighting and manipulation to make the victims doubt their own perceptions of reality. Once a narcissist is done with a victim, they often discard them without a second thought as if they never existed. The victim, now left to pick up the pieces, may experience a mix of anger and confusion as they try to make sense of the narcissist's behavior. One of the greatest scenes of narcissists is the art of manipulation, specifically gaslighting. Gaslighting is a technique used by a narcissist to distort your perceptions of events and your reality. They encircle you with their psychic arms, creating a false reality until your perception of self, environment, and reality are warped beyond recognition. Narcissists are also notorious for their willful ignorance when it comes to the feelings and needs of others. Narcissists think that they are always right when it comes to their desires and wants, often neglecting self-awareness and responsibility. Kindness, respect, and compassion fall by the wayside. The fifth great sign of a narcissist is having affairs with other people while having an affair with you and trying to hide it. It's an incredibly hurtful situation where the narcissist deliberately chooses to lie and deceive you all the while trying to make you appear like the one at fault if you find out. But perhaps the most unforgivable of all the sins is physical harm to others. Narcissist's emotional and physical abuse can leave their victims feeling like they are no longer themselves. The abuse is painful, leaving victims traumatized and scared to be in anyone's company. Exploitation is the last cardinal sin of narcissists, and it can be a sad reality. People are often viewed as disposable resources for narcissists, who only care about themselves and their own survival. Narcissists reduce people to mere property, eh? all for the sake of material gain, money, or sex. It's not easy to escape from narcissists who exert emotional control over people, leaving their victims feeling helpless. In conclusion, we have spoke at the seven cardinal sins of the narcissist, the twisted ways of justification, and the emotional pain that comes from being in a relationship with the narcissist. If you or someone you know is struggling with narcissism, it's important to reach out for help and remember that you are not alone and help is always available. Thank you for joining us today and until next time, have a nice day everyone.